I have found a plugin that accelerates the design of floor plans, which I know we all really love. So, first of all, if you need to download it, you can go to planfinder.xyz and then use the download trial. In here, you will have the different version of Revit, Grasshopper, and Rhino. You can download them from here and then in this part, you can see the instructions for installation for different softwares. By the way, unfortunately, this video is not sponsored by PlanFinder. I just found it really helpful and I thought I need to share it with you. So, you need to go to Revit and draw some walls like this. In this part, you can see the plan finder and then we are going to use the generate first. Click on generate and then click inside this area. After that, you need to select the walls that are the facade of the building and then click on finish again and again you need to click inside the area. Now in a few seconds, it's going to generate a floor plan for you. So as you can see in here, we have the living room, bedroom, walk-in closet, WC. We can also add some storage. If you click inside areas, you can change the decoration like this. And also from this part, you can select the country, also the number of the beds. For example, I want to have only two beds amount of bath i'm going to select two i want wc and no storage let's check this and i also need the separate kitchen i'm going to check this too walk-in closet i'm not going to use it and after you are finished with all of these options you can click on generate again and based on these it's going to create another floor plan so as you can see in here we have living room kitchen storage bedroom two bedroom bathroom wc and this circulation area so we have three options if you click on this part you can see other plans again if you want to change anything you can generate another one and choose between these options now if this is what you really like you can click on ok and after a few minutes it's going to create the model for you it will create the walls doors windows and also the furniture perfect if you go to 3d view you can see it exactly like this another option that we have in here is the fit so i saw that people use it for different purposes for example you might use it to fit the previous plan that you have created for another uh, project for this project for example and also you might need to use it for projects with unique plans and walls for example i'm going to click on it and then click inside the area and then click on one of the walls like this and it will generate some floor plans like the one that you can see again we have four options and you can select between them i'm going to go with the second one and in here you can change it for example you can select the number of bedrooms the bathroom the country and in this part you can set the area and width for different parts which i think is very helpful so if you like need a very huge living room you can set it in here maybe you don't want that much big bedroom you can go with this size and for example very small bathroom and also wc and also very little storage area so you can do this for widths again and it will generate the floor plan and create it again according to these options there is also another tab which is setting in this part and in here you can change the type of wall and the interior doors and the exterior doors also since we are in fit setting we can downscale or upscale the project as you can see it will change exactly like we set it if you go to settings section in generate you will find a bit more options for controlling the door and the uh, opening side of them which i think is very helpful again and then if you are okay with this plan you can click ok and it will create a model for you exactly like you have selected fit doesn't exactly generate the floor plan according to the walls you have created but uh, you can use the ideas and maybe the previous plans for the new floor plan that you want to create the last option that we can use in plan finder is the furnish before that i would like to ask to like and subscribe this video if it was helpful for you until now 
so it creates furniture for the area that you have selected the only thing you need to do is to click on furnish and then select two rooms that you want to create furnitures for them and after that click on the finish and then select one of the walls for example this one and then click on finish again and then click inside that area i might have a little bit too much clicks but you know how it works if i click inside these areas you can see the placement of furniture is going to be changed and as i said you can see the opening side of the door in the setting area in the furnish section too and now if you click on ok it will place furniture like this which I know is not that much interesting, but I know we can use it for initial phase of the project when we want to create the floor plan, this will help a lot. So yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I will see you soon.